I started writing young adult fiction in 2003. The first book came out in 2004. So it was really more towards the beginning of the YA wave that's been going on. I think a lot more adults are reading it. I, I mean, I think that's very, very common now to see adults reading YA. And it's certainly a battle that you see in a lot of uh, newspaper articles and things where people are mildly shamed for reading YA and other ridiculous things like that. Some people say, is it the Twilight effect? Is it the Hunger, now it's going to be the Hunger Games effect? Uh, it's, I think, more the Harry Potter effect. I think that the first time you really saw adults uh, frequently carrying around books intended for younger readers was probably around 2000 when you started to see everybody carrying around Harry Potters. And I think that the reason it's taken off so much is that it's good. I think it's actually that simple. It's exciting. It has its detractors and its detractors generally don't know much about it. You know, its detractors tend to cherry pick five books, half read them and say, all of this is nonsense. Um, it's not nonsense. It's good stuff. And I think that's what all the detractors are missing constantly over and over again, is that these books change lives in a very positive way, almost universally positive way. But they have to write negative articles about it because negative articles sell. And it's a good pitch to go in and say, have you heard about the latest thing that is going to kill your children? Of course, that article has been coming around for years and years and years. It was going to be rock and roll, and it was going to be uh, motion pictures and comic books and video games and so many things that are going to destroy your kids. It's an article that sells and sells and sells. And now they just write it about YA, but uh, people aren't buying it. 